So now let's work around with something called a target object to create reflection around our object right here. So here I have a light and a floor and I've already applied a reflective material to it. So if I were to press Control R, you can see that everything is black right now. I do not want everything to be black. I do not want everything to be so reflective right now. So I'm just going to go on to my reflective material right here and reduce the reflection out here. So here you can see that there's 100% reflection. Let me just bring this out down and you can see that the reflection is there. For an interesting view, let me just um, apply a different color to this, something like blue right here and you can see that. So now what I want to do is I just want to copy and paste the material. Let me drag a second material onto this floor right here and then I'm just going to delete this material, give it a different color, let's say for example. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to give it a different color. Seems like spear has the same material. I do not want that. I want this material on the spear right here. Delete the material just like that. I'm going to press Control R and you can see that the reflection is still there, but the colors is there uh, as well. So you can see that it is much more interesting to look at. Now what I want to do is I want to add in some reflective uh, elements down the road right here. So something at the side, for example, you can already see the light, but I do not. I do want uh, something else to stay over there and I want to see what it is. So for that, I can use something called a target object to create some reflection. So I'm going to go over here on to my object right here. I'm going to grab a simple plane, which I'm going to use as my target object. So let me just grab this up. And what I want to do is on the plane, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to animation tag and I, I'm going to make this object face the spear right here. So I'm going to go over here and click on target. Once I go to target, you can see that this actually appears and over here, there's the target object option. I'm just going to click on this mouse button right here and click on the spear. So the spear is the target object now and you can see that the plane has now attached to the spear. So if I were to go left, you can see that it always points on to the spear right here, but this is not how I want it. I actually want it to actually uh, flatten out. I do not want to um, like simply have a straight point like this. So I'm going to go on to the target right here and then I'm going to go on to uh, the options right here on to the coordinates. Let's see where it is. I'm going to go on to the object right here. So I'm going to have to go to the plane object for this one. So I'm going to go to plane object where you can see right now that the orientation is plus Y. If I were to change this into plus X, you can see that it actually faces a different direction now. This is not what I want. So X minus, this is not what I want. You can see the reflection at uh, the uh, areas of target as a reference here as well. Plus Y, this is not what I want as well. It just flips it out as you can see. This is what I want, plus Z. So you can see that it actually reflects down over here. This is not the place where there's the reflection. This is the place, so plus Z. And now let's see what happens when I move it. So this is just the same, but if I were to move it like this, you can see that this object now faces the spear just like that and it rotates around just like this. So this can also be used for cool animations as you can see. So I can control the distance right over here and I can control where uh, the object faces right here. I can also create copies of this just like this. So now what I want to do is I want to make this a reflective object so that it actually reflects uh, some sort of color on to the spear right here. For that, I need to add in a material on to this object right here. So I'm going to double click over here, add in the material to this object, and I'm going to control the material so that it actually illuminates. So I'm going to double click on this material so that I can get the material editor. And here I want to turn on luminance for this one. So I'm going to turn on luminance so the object is bright. You can already see the reflection here. And I can choose the color which I want to reflect it with something like blue, red and so forth. So I'm going to just choose this out just like that. And there you go. The object has been reflected just like that. So I can also create a copy of this. I'm going to hold control, drag it out. And you can see that there's another object that you can work with. I'm going to add in another material for this one. I'm just going to copy and paste this material right here drag it on over here and then just choose a different color for this one something like green there you go so I'm gonna use a brighter green for this one let's close it and there you go there's the reflection so now let's render this out to actually see how it looks like so you can see the reflection materials right here let me press ctrl R and you'll be able to see that the reflections are there just like that 
maybe the illumination are not enough so I'm just gonna increase the illumination level onto the reflection just like that so I'm just gonna go over here on to the material options right here and on under the luminance I'm just gonna increase the strength of this just like that by increasing uh, the value I can also increase the brightness right here just like that let me just go around 100% for this one there you go so I can also go over here increase the luminance for this one as well and now you can see that it will be much more reflective just like this and that's how you add in a reflective luminance material um, just like that to creating interesting effect to your object you cannot you, you can um, grab in just about any shape to create this effect just like that so that is how you can work around with top target object and create wonderful reflections to um, create realistic module models in cinema 4d we're going to learn more about further settings uh, so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe